How are we doing everyone? I think you're gonna like today's video. We're doing a slug fest today. We're taking a bunch of different 22 caliber air gun slugs, a bunch of different weights, all heavy hitters. We're gonna shoot them first, not only through a three quarter inch piece of maple plywood, but then behind that is gonna be clay to catch the projectile and also see uh, how it performs after penetrating such a dense barrier. Test gun, we'll be using custom uh, Crossman 2400 KT uh, converted to HPA with a uh, boss uh, bulk fill flow valve and uh, yeah so we'll be shooting at 2200 psi today pellets we're going to be testing is the uh, H&N pile driver at um, 29 grains uh, Jumbo Beast by Diablo or by uh, JSB this is going to be 33 grains we have the Rabbit Magnum by H&N at 25 grains. The uh, Jumbo Monster by JSB in 25. And then you're going to like these guys. Uh, 38 grain hollow points by Mr. Hollow Point himself. Got his 45 grain right here. And then we have these monster. I believe these are 50 grain. 55 or 50 I think they're 50s these are 50 grain slugs hollow point lead cast so yeah guys I'm gonna shoot through this uh, maple right here see how it penetrates and then we're gonna catch it in the clay and uh, see how these slugs perform against each other it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, let me know what you think let me know what you like using and uh, yeah here we go guys the rabbit magnum number two by H&N sports 25 grains 22 caliber. All right, let's see if it penetrated here. Wow, yep, definitely penetrated the three quarter inches of maple plywood. Made quite an impact uh, entrance. Let's cut it open, see what it looks like. All right, guys, so we cut open the clay here. And as you can see, pretty impressive pass through on here. I mean, it went another probably four, four and a half inches into the clay here. You can see where it stopped it. Brought a ton of splinters in, like a cannonball, you know. You could say maybe this would represent a hog skull or just maybe a shoulder bone of some animals. It's kind of overdone. That's the whole point of this. It, they're slugs. To see what they can do, how they hold up. Try to make them blow apart. But man, as you can see, guys, get the focus there. All right, so as you can see, guys, um, man, the uh... all right. So as you can see, guys, man, it really did not deform too much. It held up really well, as you can see. This, sorry, my camera's having a little trouble focusing, and um, but man, it uh, you know obviously the nose deformed a little bit, and but you know besides that. It held up really well going through a uh, three-quarter inch plywood and as you can see there uh, you know the back isn't very uh, deformed it's pretty, still pretty circular it's pretty impressive rabbit magnum it holds up well and uh, penetrated good all right on to the next one JSB jumbo monsters 25 grains here we go guys All right, let's see what that initial entry hole looks like and then we'll cut her open, guys. Oh, look at that. Barely made it through. Dented it. Broke through the other side. Let's take a closer look. So guys, here's the JSB Monster 25 grains after we did our first test through the uh, three quarter inch. Just broke through the other side, but did not penetrate the clay, made a dent, it was still stuck in the wood. Heavily, heavily deformed compared to the H&N Rabbit Magnum. Kinda expected this. It uh, seemed like a softer alloy of lead to begin with. Um, yeah, 
So uh, we'll move on to the uh, next uh, slug here, guys. Here we go. Up next, guys, we have the H&N Pile Driver. 29 grains, 22 caliber. Let's see how it does. All right, let's see where the uh, how the pile driver did. He made it through. Oh, definitely have a full pass through. Looks like it went nice and deep into the clay. Let's see how it did. Man, so definitely had a great penetration by the pile driver. Looks like it went in a full four inches here. You can just see, went right through. And again, look, very little deformation to this pile driver. I mean, obviously just of a much, much harder lead alloy than that JSB Monster. So that this is a 29 grain projectile. It's a uh, round nose. There is no hollow point. And you know, guys, as you can see, went through a full quarter inch of maple plywood and then just obliterated right through uh, this clay for another four inches. I mean, that right there is the penetration of, you know, lower power air guns in the clay. So this thing had some serious energy still exiting the uh, plywood. So very impressive. All right, next one. All right, guys, we got the JSB Jumbo Beast. 33.9 grains. Thing, the thing's a bus. Let's see how it does against the maple. All right, let's see if that Jumbo Beast made it through, guys. Whoa! Holy cow. Jeez. That looks uh, pretty interesting. Man. It's absolutely obliterated through. Alright, let's cut it open and see what she looks like. Alright guys, let's take a look at it here. This is the JSB Beast at 33.9 grains. As you can see, this is the exit hole on the maple, 3 quarter inch. Just blew right through there. Made a nice exit hole. Made a great entrance. Traveled about 2.5, maybe 3 inches here. And this is the uh, projectile. So you can see this one definitely held together pretty well, but definitely flattened out and mushroomed on the tip here, smashing through. But really just, honestly, this held together very well and performed good. I mean, the uh, energy dump, as you can see on that entrance hole, the clay was massive, had a huge hole, blew through the uh, maple. So that's pretty cool. Really heavy round, 33 grains. All right. Let's do the next one. All right, up next we have the first of Mr. Hall Point's slugs. These are his 38 grain, 22 caliber hollow point. Here we go. All right, let's see if that uh, 38 grain made it through. And uh, man, oh man, it definitely did. Let's see how it looks inside. All right, guys, man, did this did a really great job. 38 grains, hollow point by uh, Mr. Hollow Point. Penetrated through the uh, maple with ease. Blew a beautiful hole in it. See that exit hole? It's like a crater. Clean entrance. Went on another three inches into the clay. As you can see, spring huge splinters into it and uh, creating quite a uh, pathway. Came to rest about three inches in. And uh, it is heavily deformed, but fully together, it looks like. I don't see any fragments in the clay that broke off. It held together extremely well. And uh, as you can see, mushroomed beautifully, even though uh, it went through that oak. And uh, didn't lose any part of it. It's 38 grains, a great round. So, uh, yeah, here we go for the next one. All right, guys, next we got the 45 grain hollow point slug by Mr. Hollow Point. Let me see how it does here. See if it does any better than that 38. All right, let's see how that 45 grain slug did. Holy cow. What in the world? 
That was the 38 grain. This is the 45 grain. Holy cow. I just talk about splinterage. See a little piece of lead there. Well, it definitely went all the way through. Let's see how deep it went. All right, guys, we cut open the clay here with the 45 grain slug in it. And you know what? Surprisingly, considering how big of a hole it made and how much it just slammed right through there, I mean, it could have hit a knot in one of the layers maybe, but um, it really didn't go that deep. It pretty much went maybe an inch, inch and a half in there. And uh, you can see here's the slug came to rest. I mean, it's absolutely heavily, heavily deformed here. Um, we did see very small pieces of it flaked off, but overall the slug stayed 95% intact. It looks really well held together. Feels very dense. Um, still penetrated. Um, could also be 45 grains. You know, it's much heavier around, so it could have just been traveling slower than, you know, so it, it punched through there harder, but at the same time didn't penetrate afterwards as far because it wasn't traveling as fast. It's very possible. So, uh, yeah, 45 grains. Now, moving up to the heaviest slug we have, it's going to be a uh, 55 grain hollow point, I believe. Either 50 or 55 grains. I know it's at least 50, so here we go, guys. All right, guys, this is the 55 grain hollow point by Mr. Hollow Point. This is the heaviest hollow point we'll be testing today. You see how it does compared to the others. Here we go. All right, guys, let's see if the 55 grain penetrated. Entrance. And it looks like it penetrated. I don't know how deep it went, as with the other heavy pel or slug. We'll see. Let's cut it open. All right, guys, I was uh, cutting open the clay here, and I, as soon as I cut it in, I noticed that the uh, slug pretty much had stopped within the very... Uh, very surface of the clay it really didn't go at all into it 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 went in but it literally is right there on the surface with a bunch of freaking splinters um as you can see here 55 grain hollow point see heavily heavily mushroomed out see it has quite a projectile there when it's mushroomed out so that 55 grains i mean traveling much much slower Still able to punch through um, that three-quarter inch maple, though. You can see here that one even caused a crack in the, I believe that was the uh, 45 grain hollow point caused a crack in one of the layers there as it was going through. Very, very impressive, all these exit holes on uh, each one. I have a couple other uh, slugs by Mr. Hollow Point, but I'll test them at another date. These are the heaviest ones I have. And uh, all penetrated, all performed extremely well. That 38 grain, though, I think that's the money, guys. I mean, it just sailed through this three-quarter inch, punched in another uh, three solid inches in this clay with a great track. And um, not only that, but, um, you know, it just performed really well. So I think 38 grains is for my gun's power and uh, shooting pressure at 2,000 PSI and everything. I think that weight seems to be a nice weight for my gun. But uh, yeah, let's uh, do a little overview here. All right, guys, I wasn't planning on testing a pellet. Actually, it was all slugs today. But I want to do a bonus clip as it, um, I wanted to test a normal 14.3 domed Crossman Premier pellet as kind of like a um, constant, as a, uh, you know, as something we can compare to the slugs so we can actually appreciate the heavy weight. So this is a standard 22 caliber 14.3 grain lead pellet um, shooting at the same PSI, same distance through the maple. Let's see if it makes it through and uh, what happens to it. All right, here we go. All right, let's see if that 14.3 grain Crossman domed made it through. Also, let's see if uh, velocity beats weight, guys. Whoa. All right, so the 14 grain pellet did make it through. Makes me question, I mean, that uh, JSB monster really must have been pretty soft then at 25 grains. It just got stuck right here on the surface. And uh, 
I mean, the 14 grain, I must, I imagine, is absolutely buzzing compared to those heavier pellets. So I was, I, I, I was expecting it to possibly make it through uh, since it was such a light pellet and it was going so fast. But let's see how deep it went. All right, guys. So I just cut into this not too far. And as you can see, um, you know, the 14 grain pellet beat the 55 grain. So, you know, we, you know, as with usually with penetration goes, velocity does beat uh, weight. So it's not too surprising a 14 grain at such a high velocity beat much slower, heavier slug. But as it would definitely was not the sweet spot because, you know, as compared to, you know, the Rabbit Magnum, um, even the uh, JSB um, Jumbo, um, or no, the JSB Beast, uh, and then also compared to that 38 grain by Mr. Hollow Point, you know, this definitely did not penetrate as deep. It did for such a small little pellet. Let's see what it looks like here. It definitely actually, you know, it stayed together somewhat. I mean, it definitely fragmented to a degree and uh, mushroomed out, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it made it through, guys. What can you can you really complain? A little pellet made it through three-quarter inch maple and uh, kept going a little bit. So definitely not the best, but all right. Our uh, control did work. All right, guys, let's just do a little overview here at the end. I have all the pellets we tested and the actual projectiles we shot lined up next to them here, and we'll just uh, go over the results. So, uh, to begin with, like I said, we did a control here, and uh, it was a Crossman domed 14.3 grain uh, pellet. And as you can see, it did, like you saw, it did make it through. But, um, you know, pretty much what made it through was a little speck of lead. It's like a pebble. So although it made it through, it only went about an inch and a half and it didn't do anything really impressive. The first actual slug we tested was the Rabbit Magnum number two. This performed very well. It went uh, three to four inches into the clay after it penetrated fully through the uh, plywood. And not only that, it held its shape very well. This is a pointed uh, slug to begin with. So uh, it held up very well and deformed very little. Next, we have the JSB Monster. This is at uh, 25 grains. It was the same weight as the Rabbit Magnum. And as you can see, this was the one that did punch through the other side of the plywood, but did not fully exit it. And it did not even go into the clay. It was lodged and stuck on the other side. So this was the only pellet we actually tested where it did not penetrate um, at all into the clay. Every other pellet or slug, I should say, and pellet, including the Crossman, uh, penetrated the maple and then went into the clay. This must have, you know, in my opinion, was the perfect uh, mixture of, basically, it was just too soft. The lead in uh, JSB pellets, uh, in my opinion, is much softer, or is softer than other uh, alloys and other brands, and I think it was just a mixture of not having enough uh, weight behind it, plus the uh, alloy itself just being too soft and absorbing too much of the energy. And it got trapped. After that, we tested the Almighty Pile Driver. This is a 29 grain projectile. Uh, this performed very, very well, just like the Rabbit Magnum by H&N. Overall, this had very little deformation to it, held its shape quite well. And uh, after penetrating the maple fully, it went on to another full, practically four inches into the clay and uh, it was a very clean pass through. So these, if your gun shoots the pile driver accurately, that thing's gonna penetrate like a beast if you're focused on, on penetration. Next, the next one by JSB is the uh, JSB Beast. This is a 33 grain uh, Diablo style domed pellet, but you know, you could classify it as a slug considering how heavy it is. Deform, deformed very, very heavily, as you can see, flattened out. Um, but it did penetrate another three inches or so into the clay, I'm assuming just because of how heavy and uh, dense 
it is. So although it, it's very soft, like its monster brother, it penetrated deeper since it was heavier and did make it into the clay. Moving on to Mr. Hollow Point slugs here, we have the 38 grain hollow point. This by, out of all the slugs, was probably my favorite. Punched like a horse through the maple, mushroomed beautifully, and then after that, trucked on for another four inches into the clay, providing a great wound cavity. Very impressed by 38 grain. The 45 grain, did good as well. Punched through the um, maple and as you can see, deformed very, very heavily here. And then finally, but not least, we have the 55 grain hollow point. This guy expanded massively and similar to the uh, JSB monster, this pellet did make it all the way through the maple, but was basically stuck in the very surface of the clay, pretty much stopping immediately. And unlike where I think the monster's issue was weight and softness, this pellet, I think, or slug at 55 grains, this slug, I think was just traveling too slow um, to really punch through and continue on like the others did, but still performed fantastically and had incredible energy. Um, it's just, if you're going for penetration efficiency i think the goldilocks of out of all the pellets in my opinion was the 38 grain hollow point in my gun it's always going to be gun dependent and everything but for my gun 38 grain hollow point performed the best next i put the pile driver and rabbit magnum and then the beast and then last i put the jsb monster and then you have the premiere by crossman that was just a control we're not really comparing it here all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a slugfest, and uh, I hope you enjoyed all the comparisons and the fun we had. I had a lot of fun shooting the, the pellets or the slugs. Uh, if you want to have uh, other suggestions in mind for me to test or shoot, let me know. Any questions about my gun or anything or about pressures and slugs and everything, just let me know, and I'll be happy to answer. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.